and welcome to Dave's Model Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to paint really authentic gun metal. So I've got here some machine guns for a P51 Mustang, 132nd scale. I've done a little bit of scratch building. I've uh, cut off some mold seams that were still there. They were originally painted black, but you can see in all the handling it's worn off quite a lot. I've also drilled out the muzzles. Um, so yeah, look, if any of you have done Games Workshop or figurine painting, you might already know this trick, but if you haven't, stick with me because it's really, really good and authentic and great and easy. So my first step is I'm going to airbrush these babies matte black. Just a nice thin coat overall, and then that is the foundation for the technique. From here on, the magic happens. Back in a tick. Okay, so we've got our machine guns painted matte black. Next, grab your gunmetal paint. So I really recommend Tamiya Enamel Gunmetal X10. It's just great. It's, it's a no fuss, no hassle paint. And a ratty old brush. You're going to do some dry brushing here. So, get some gunmetal on. Rub most of it off on a bit of paper. And then dry brush. Give it a really light coat, and I promise you, you will love what you see. So I'm going to do one whole one here, get the barrel as well, it just brings out so much detail, it's brilliant, while it still looks realistic. Um, do the very end of the barrel, try not to touch too much the work you just did, which is what I'm exactly doing. And you can only see mostly my fingers, which is far from ideal. Okay, so there's one. Now I'm going to zoom on in and show you the effect we've got here. Let's get some decent light down here. Oh, great cinematography there. So, this is our gun barrel. So you can see the effect you get there. It's just this really beautiful metallic feel. Really, really gorgeous. What I would recommend next is a very light pin wash with some uh, Van Dyke Brown Artist's Oils. So I'll do that next and show you the final result. It's too easy. So in order to do a uh, wash with the Van Dyke Brown, you just get very, very thin Van Dyke Brown, it's barely even visible on the brush there, and just wash it over. You can do a pin wash or you can do an overall wash, it's totally up to you. Um, both will bring out detail and just, you know, hint at the oils and things on the gun. So yeah, you can already see the effect that that's having there. Um, I'll let that dry, do a couple of the others, and come back soon. Easy. So here's the finished result. I'm very happy with the way that that looks. Um, you know, beautiful, authentic, metallic tones. The great thing about this technique, it works on any platform, so armor, no problems at all. Um, any kind of, you know, basically any kind of gun you need to, to paint, it works for it. Um, 135th rifles and even you know submachine guns so give it a go let me know what you think and yeah it's an easy technique enjoy guys